This is CES M M A. We're back at Twin River Casino for our exciting co-feature live mixed martial arts presented by Classic Entertainment and Sports. You are watching Gold Rush, and right now we are in the welterweight division, and you are watching the Brazilian Gil de Freitas from Ludlow, Mass, fighting out of Team Link, originally born and raised in Brazil, has fought the majority of his career overseas in his hometown, and now fighting for the second time in as many fights on U.S. soil. Last time out, he had a big win over Ryan Saunders. That was last year. He had lost his previous, or three of his previous four bouts, rather, in Brazil prior to stepping back on the U.S. soil. So tonight he comes in with a 14-5 and record. He's got four knockouts, two submissions on his resume, 30 years of age. And, of course, we know everything Team Link is about. We have seen many of their fighters on CES cards in the past. And, of course, you see right now DeFreitas' head trainer, Marco Alvin. And before this fight, Scott, Marco Alvin had made it perfectly clear that this was a very big fight for DeFreitas. He really needed to win this one to prove that he belongs in the conversation with the likes of Chuck O'Neill. Chuck O'Neill comes in ranked number one in the Northeast. DeFreitas needs a win like this to take him to the next step. Well, you know, Chuck's not a stepping stone for anybody, but a win over Chuck O'Neill kind of can't you, excuse me. It's going to can't you to the top. DeFreitas, as we mentioned, had fought primarily in Brazil. He had lost three of his previous four bouts, but certainly against top-notch competition. Among them, Eric Silva of the UFC, yeah. whom he faced in 2010. That's as tough as it gets in the welterweight division. So DeFreitas, if anything, has been battle-tested through the years. Oh, yeah. This fight, by the way, on SureDog.com's top 10 to watch worldwide. So it just shows you the status of these two welterweights matching and locking horns tonight here at Twin River. And, and again, you know, we've said it before, and you know, it's look at what Jimmy Jr., Jim, Jimmy Birchfield Sr., and Pat Sullivan have put together. You know, one of the top 10 fights in the world to watch this month. Right now, here comes Chuck O'Neill, the number one ranked welterweight in the Northeast, making his way back to Twin River for the third time in a row. He has won his last two fights here at this same venue. Back in December, beat Keith Jeffrey, one of the biggest wins of his career. No doubt about that. Jeffrey, one of the top welterweights in the Northeast, had a unanimous decision to win over him. His last time out, he fought Ralph Johnson, who took the fight on short notice. And Ralph. And almost caught yeah, him. Yeah, he, no, I think he did catch he him. Did catch he him. just couldn't finish the job. You know, I, I think no one was more surprised than, than Chuck that that right hand came out the way it did and put him on his backside for a couple of seconds. O'Neill had the wherewithal to grab him on the way down and then finish him Hang on, on for dear life, take two deep breaths, and then finish the fight like a true professional. And of course, Ralph Johnson taking the fight on such short notice essentially <laughs> emptied the tank in the first 35, 40 seconds. You had nothing to. left, and O'Neill finished him. Here is the tail of the tape. O'Neill coming in at 11 and five with three knockouts. Weighing in at 170 yesterday, fighting out of Mass BJJ. And Jill DeFreitas, 14 and 5 with four knockouts, also weighing in at 170, fighting out of Team Link. Let's send it down to Bill Carpenter for the official introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Gammons Prudential Realty co feature, our special attraction three. Five minute rounds in the cage, welterweights. Your referee is Dan Mergliata. Introducing the blue corner first. He's wearing the red, white, and black trunks. He weighed in at 170 pounds even. His winning record shows 14 wins against only five losses, representing Team Link and fighting out of Ludlow, Massachusetts. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Gil Freitas. Across the cage to my left, fighting out of the red corner, He's wearing the black trunks with purple. He also tipped the scales at the welterweight limit of 170 pounds. This UFC veteran has registered 11 wins with only five losses, representing Mass BJJ and fighting out of Bridgewater, Massachusetts. Introducing Chuck Cold Steel O'Neill. Three five-minute rounds, our special attraction, 
co-feature. One of the things Chuck O'Neill said about that Ralph Johnson fight, he had so much drama leading up to it, venue changes, opponent changes, may have taken it for granted. He will not take the phrase for granted tonight. All right, you, you fools take anybody for granted, but it, you know, it's one of those things where Chuck says to himself, okay, if I did that, it's not happening again. O'Neill in the black and purple, the Freitas in the nice red, white, right and black. O'Neill doing a good job of keep circling off that cage, nothing in a straight line, changing direction. But you can see, nice rear leg. Like, you can see the Freitas stalking him down. Big wake up call for Chuck O'Neill on that one, almost taken down from the rear leg, and another one from the Freitas. Now, if Chuck keeps drifting out to his left, he's gonna be set up for that outside, that rear leg kick or a straight right hand. Nice flurry on the way in by Chuck. So what Defrenis is waiting for is Chuck to either jab or set on his punches and then he's just, he's eating whatever Chuck's throwing and countering with a really strong rear leg. Every time you see it is, the second Chuck starts to throw, Eats the punches, goes to a high defense, counter right hand over the top there. Nice overhand right by yeah. DeFreitas. Tried again. That was a fastball. Nice head kick by Chuck, well defended by DeFreitas. O'Neill mixing it up, head kicks, jabs, trying you to keep him off balance. At, at, at this level, there's, there's, if you stay too consistent, it's gonna be the death of you. Overhand right, and O'Neill eats it. Really getting crushing kicks in there. Chuck's gonna need to start checking a couple of these. Oh, the free has pushed everything behind those kicks. Yeah, soccer kick. Yeah, in the second he stands still for too long. Nice counter by Chuck. Those aren't distance fighters. Those have the intention no, no, to no. destroy. The inside leg kick notoriously is a distance finder. Keep you off balance. Nice straight jab to the body. Those rear leg kicks are meant to put a little sting on you, take your legs away. It wasn't that long ago, there was a gentleman in the UFC won the fight, his second win by knockout from leg kicks. That's quite a feat. Two and a half to go, halfway through round number one of this co-feature. Chuck O'Neill and Gil Freitas. Nice combination by O'Neill. Nice combination again by O'Neill while the Freitas throws the rear leg. The Freitas seems bent. You see the height difference and the reach difference. So the Freitas seems really intent on using his legs to close that distance. Now the Freitas backs. O'Neill did a great job of sticking out of that corner. O'Neill's jab's been very sharp, Scott, setting up that right hand. Well, his feet have been working, so, you know, I'd like to see when the jab comes off his footwork. He's got, he still has plenty of bounce to his nice combination moving in. So he's still in combinations with DeFreitas on the way in. Nice right up. Okay. And another one right there. And a lot of fighters tonight haven't been doing that with opponents trying to stalk him down. We, we talked about that earlier, that MMA, because the gloves are so small, now we're in a brawl. DeFreitas got, he rocked O'Neill. O'Neal's trying to survive this. Oh, oh it's in off the top of the head. That that's looks like it. that's it. The Freitas knocks out Chuck O'Neal just as we spoke about keeping distance. The Freitas overwhelms O'Neal, hops over the cage into the stands. I hope he knows whoever that woman is he's hugging. <laughs> but somebody is going to be really pissed off. A dynamic victory for Jill the Freitas. Finishing Chuck O'Neill in the snap of a finger just when it looked like O'Neill was going to I can't to wait to see that replay. Wow. An unbelievable finish here at Twin River. O'Neill appears okay, but boy, was he stopped cold in his tracks. And we will definitely get a second look at the finishing blow. It's unbelievable, Scott. O'Neill was using the footwork, like you said, using the jab, and all of a sudden it just collapsed on him, and DeFreitas came in. Caught him against the cage, unloaded, let his hands go, and that was all she wrote. Here it is, again. Oh, it was right behind the ear, top of the head. Legal punch, but that's it just knocks your equilibrium clean off. But it was the punches before that that you want to see. It was it was an exchange going on. Where, you see where Chuck's hands were up, he caught one to the jaw, another one to the right. 
and then he's still standing up. The freight just keeps pouring it on. And then you're gonna see that overhand right again. He, he faints it, comes over the top. It was a You are most vulnerable to be hit when you're throwing a punch. That's when your defense is at its poorest. And they just look at the pace that these guys threw. Double up that right hand. This is just a street fight right here. The freight is literally walking through whatever Chuck O'Neill threw at him. Yeah, and it was to, to Chuck's detriment staying still and trying to trade with them rather than roll out. When he was moving, he was play, playing his angles. He was uh, he definitely had control of the stand-up. But the freight has exploded on him, throwing punches with bad intentions. Ladies and gentlemen, the boat ends at 3 minutes 37 seconds of the first round. Referee Dan Mergliotta stops the fight. Your winner by TKO, Gil Freitas. An impressive win for Gil De Freitas. Now 15 and 5 with five knockouts finishing Chuck O'Neill. And if any win can vault to the top, it's that one. Here we go again, Scott. He's got great power, and you just see him really winging him at him. It's a couple of straight, the right hand's kind of looping, but the jab's straight. You know, the straight left hand, a couple of looping left hooks, and then he takes a quick deep breath, pumps it, and then comes over the top. Even with his hands up, O'Neill could not stop that barrage. That's it, how strong the Freitas is. It, there was not much he could do. I mean, the best way to get out of that is to move your feet, and you, you know, Chuck was in a bad spot being pressed against the cage like that. Well, there it is. Big win for Yilda Freitas. 15 and 5 now at 5 knockouts. Chuck O'Neill drops to 11 and 6. Don't go anywhere. We are coming back with the highly anticipated main event live from Twin River.